Hi, everybody. So now we are in the 15th gene key in the transit. And this is a gene key that goes from the shadow of dullness to the gift of magnetism and the city of fluorescence. And it's paired with the 10th gene key, which is the programming partner that has to do with naturalness and, and ease and the shadow is self-obsession. So uh, those two gates are in the G center. Uh, the center that we also call the me center in integral human design that has to do with love, direction, and identity. And when we look at the circuitry, uh, the 15th gate gate goes down and, and meets the the fifth gate in gate in the sacral center, and they make up the channel rhythm. And in this channel, we have the inherent rhythms in everything that is alive in in the world or in the universe. Um, so the patterns that, that, that are alive in everything that is alive, basically. And people that have the 15th gene key, they will have, it's called, the, it's called the design of being in flow, which means that the flow that these people are in or the pattern that these people are in is gonna kind of be contagious. And other people, since it's in the collective circuitry, other people are gonna, tune into that same pattern or flow. Uh, when we speak of the collective circuitry in integral human design, we say it's the, it's the stream of service because it actually affects or influences um, the, the, collectives, the collective. And that's why there is a, a responsibility in this gate of, of actually really tuning into to the natural rhythms of, of the earth and actually finding how you can be in tune with nature and those natural rhythms and not imposing your, your extremes, for example. And we can see that in the sense that the shadow of dullness um, is, of course, a shadow of like boredom or, or depression. So from in order to escape that shadow, we, we might go into extremes. So that's also why in the chain we speak about modesty, because we, when we fall into extremes, we are out of whack with, with the natural rhythms, and we are also then affecting the whole. Um, and um, so for the shadow patterns, we, we see that the, the, more passive, um, the more passive version is to feel empty and to feel depressed, you could say. And, and bored but kind of hollow and the more reactive has more to do with these extremes like falling into behaviors that are scattered or extremes extreme and have like many different experiences to kind of escape the dullness what really we we wanted to mean to is what we want to know about the 15th is also like i was saying it's it is something that is going to influence others and it has a, a magnetism to it. So when it goes up in a higher frequency and, and when, when somebody with a 15 uh, gene key prominent in the profile walks into rooms, like people can feel their aura if he, before they even see the person. So that is the kind of impact this, this person will have. And, and when, when it is a higher frequency, it influences people in a very positive way and make people become in sync with their own rhythm and with the rhythm of, of the whole and, and of nature. Uh, and, and it's really the rhythm of Gaia. And, and in, the, in this gene key, Richard also speaks about the, the human resonance, which is like the pulse you know, of, of, of Mother Earth. Um, and there, you could really see that there is an aliveness in this gene key. And if the 19th gene key is about speaking with animals and that kind of uh, sensitivity of like the animal whisper, I would say that the 15th gene key is really about communicating with nature um, and more maybe the plants and, and, and that, kind of, that kind of world. And, and the city is fluorescence. And fluorescence is not like just one bud of a flower opening, but it's like all the buds opening at the same time. Um, and so it kind of come, comes from magnetism and being in sync. And then at the higher level, it's just like, it's just becoming one with, with the opening of, of everything that, that can be open. 
And it's also interesting how we speak about it in in the city. It's like it's it's not something. It's a kind of awakening. There's something that we can we cannot uh, aim to to go there. It kind of happens of itself. It's like nature. If we would if we would just stop uh, influencing the nature now as human beings, maybe in a thousand years where there are roads now and cities that would be green again, but we don't really know how long that would take and how it would look. And that is the same thing with fluorescence. It's kind of, with all the cities, it's, it's very similar. They don't, they, we cannot try to, to get there and go there, but, but it happens. Um, so it is a, it is a very um, beautiful jinky and it can look like all the jinkies quite bad in the lower frequencies with the extremes and the trying to escape the dullness uh, or kind of being stuck and empty in it, not knowing your way out. But when you allow, and since it's a case of in the, in the G center, it's like when you allow the love, when you allow yourself to feel the rhythm or, or the direction and, and when you allow yourself to be who you authentically are, then right away you are in, on the pathway of, of magnetism. Uh, and from there, you know, then spontaneously, there can be those moments of, of the acidic state and, and the fluorescence. So it's a shorter video this time and I feel like there can be comments and I might add some written things to, to this jinky. Thank you guys. <laughs>